Today's video is on developmental networks, specifically the hypothetical network of creating spikes in spiny beetles. First, what is a developmental network? It's a pathway that results in a specific genotype. The pathway details specific protons that either induce or repress the presence of neighboring proteins. When you see an arrow, that means it induces them, and when you see uh, like a line with a line, it means it represses them. Here is the spike developmental network. As you can see, there are five proteins involved, resulting in spikes in the cells of the ectoderm of spiny beetles. We are now going to go over four different possible mutations that could lead to either spikes being created or spikes not. The first mutation is the P minus mutation. Without P, there is no protein to produce I. Without I, there's nothing to inhibit K. And K will inhibit E, which means spikes will not be formed. In the second mutation, I minus is the mutant. Without I, there's nothing to inhibit K. K will proceed to inhibit E, and spikes will not be produced again. In our third mutant, we have I minus and E minus. This classifies as a double mutant. Without I, nothing will inhibit K. K will inhibit E, but E is already not present, which means no spikes will be formed yet again. Our fourth mutant is an S minus K minus. It is another double mutant. Without S, there is nothing to produce P. Without P, there's nothing to produce I. Without I, there is nothing to inhibit K. K already isn't present. And without K, there is nothing to inhibit E. So E will produce spikes. So this is the only mutant out of the four where spikes are produced. Now, when asked why not all ectoderm cells won't, ha will have, won't have spikes, the answer is because mutations are a lot more present than we think. So certain cells around the whole beetle will produce spikes and certain cells will not produce spikes. So in the end, some will be spiked and some will not be. That is all.